everyone, in this video we are going to uh, see another example from Mixer Reality Toolkit Hub. We are going to explore the bonding box examples. So in this example, basically when you wear the HoloLens 2, you can grab an object, a hologram here, and you can play around with it. You can scale it, you can rotate it, and you can move it. So for example, with a hand, you grab it and you move it next to you. Then for releasing it, you just have to do like this. Now, this is for moving the object. You can also do like this with the pinch, it's called pinch gesture. But of course, grabbing it is more intuitive. Now, for scaling it, you can see that there are some corners here, so you will do like this. Oops. Sometimes it doesn't pick up, whoops. It doesn't pick up the angles, you have to practice a little bit. So this is true even when you don't have the object with this um, corners over here. So they made explicitly uh, visible the, the corners here for practice. But for example, you can do the same on this kind of object. And instead here is for rotating the object. So if you press like this, you can rotate it. And this is true also for this one. The user interface is different, so you have different uh, objects at the corners, but the user interaction is the same. You have to make sure that you actually press the right um, buttons here. And another thing that is actually very important is that you have to calibrate the HoloLens, otherwise it won't detect the distance between yourself and the hologram. So now we try this one, this for the first generation of HoloLens, but it works also with the HoloLens 2. So in this case there were no bounding boxes, this cube is called bounding boxes, and you can do the same basically. It's just less intuitive. And also here, same. So here, as you can see, if you don't press it, press it. If you don't select it or move your hand in proximity to the object, you don't see any bounding box. But if you do, see, it starts to appear. And this is far much more intuitive. 